This figure is a right triangle ABC. PQ is perpendicular to BC. And BP is equal to AP. If BQ is 2 units, QC 3 units, find the value of X. To solve this problem, let BP be Y. Since BP is equal to AP, it follows that AP will also be Y. Next let's apply Pythagoras' theorem in triangle ABC. From Pythagoras' theorem, BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared. BC is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. AB is equal to y plus y, which is equal to 2y. AC is equal to x. Substituting these values in the equation will give us 5 squared is equal to 2y squared plus x squared. 5 squared is 25, and 2y squared is 4y squared. If we make x squared the subject of the formula, we will have x squared is equal to 25 minus 4y squared. Taking the square root of both sides will give us x is equal to the square root of 25 minus 4y squared. Let's call this equation 1. Next, let's focus on triangle BPQ. Triangle BPQ is a right triangle. If we call this angle alpha, then the remaining angle of this triangle will be 90 degrees, minus alpha. Reason. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Next, let's consider triangle ABC. Notice that, triangle ABC, is sharing the same angle with triangle BPQ. Which we have taken as alpha. Since triangle ABC is a right triangle, then the remaining angle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Comparing triangle BPQ and triangle ABC, observe that angle PBQ is equal to angle ABC. Angle BPQ is equal to angle ACB and angle BQP is equal to angle BAC. This shows that triangle BPQ is similar to triangle ABC and the proportionality of their corresponding sides is BQ over BA is equal to BP over BC. BQ is equal to 2. BA is equal to Y plus Y, which is equal to 2Y. BP is equal to Y. And BC is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. Substituting these values in the above equation will give us 2 over 2Y is equal to Y over 5. By cross multiplication, we will have y times 2y is equal to 2 times 5. y times 2y is equal to 2y squared. And 2 times 5 is equal to 10. If we divide through by 2, 2 will cancel out 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, we are left with y squared is equal to 5. Next, let's substitute y squared with 5 in equation 1. Doing so will give us x is equal to the square root of 25 minus 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So, x is equal to the square root of 25 minus 20, which is equal to the square root of 5. Hence, x is equal to root 5. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.